Okay, so here we have the famous Leopard 1. It's an A5 version, it's a Belgium Leopard. Yes, we bought this approximately eight uh, years ago in the market. They are available over here, but we cannot use them as is, of course. We need a full retrofit. We have to look at the fire control system. So we really have to make them, uh, bring them back to track so before we can use them in any kind of battlefield. Maybe you can say I'm a visionary. So, no, no, there are uh, other countries, there are still countries in the world who have this Leopard 1 tanks. So there's always possibility either to sell spare parts or to sell additional tanks. We, we change also the, the configuration of the tank. So there's always a potential in the market if we buy uh, systems like that. But of course, it's, it's a gamble. Eh? So maybe uh, tomorrow we will have to scrap them. In 10 years, they can still be there. Yeah, so it's really a gamble. There are governments um, which we have, uh, let's say, currently in discussion. Yeah, uh, I just got a recently a, a call from the Ukraine government. So, yeah, yeah, so uh, there's a lot of interest, but that's because the uh, German government gave export licenses. And until today, that was not the case. But there's also the UK government. We're talking to the Swedish government. So there's a lot of governments interested, but we'll have to see what happens now. Aujourd'hui, ces chars ont été revendus pour une somme euh, évalué à 10-15 000 euros puisqu'ils ne fonctionnaient plus. Rien ne nous empêche de les racheter, mais ils ne sont pas opérationnels. Et les racheter, ce n'est pas non plus les racheter à des prix déraisonnables. Et pour le moment, il y a des entreprises euh, belges qui font une marge qui est déraisonnable. Ça Donc, voudrait dire combien à... Quel prix On est sur un vendu. prix de revente qui nous avait été donné euh, il y a quelques mois déjà de 500 000 euros pièce pour un matériel qui est euh, stocké dans des hangars et et sur lequel 000, 000 il n'y a eu pièce. aucun euh, travail de remise en état. <rire> Not at all. Not at all. No, no. I think the real figures are public. Yeah, so we bought this whole lot of about 50 tanks out of which 33 are useful for approximately 2 million euros. So you can make the calculation. Yeah, and selling them, I never gave a price to the government. So selling them, it, it can range from, from two, three hundred, four hundred, uh, depending on what we have to do. For instance, if we have to change a fire control system, a fire control system, a gunner's main site, 350,000 euro. Yeah, if we have to change the asbestos in the engine, 75,000 euro. Per so tank. per tank, I'm talking per tank, yes. <laughs> 